place pretty quiet right now, just watching uh, down range. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine ignition, and we have liftoff of an ILS Proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Ketsat-1 satellite on board. Let's listen. Normalny, you'll hear that a lot. That means normal in Russian. And at about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket does a roll maneuver and will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, or max-Q. Max-Q being the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle. It corresponds to about Mach 1.6 and occurs one minute, two seconds after liftoff. Popular rumble that you can feel as you uh, watch the launch out at the, at the Cosmodrome. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle heads in an easterly direction with a flight azimuth of about 61.3 degrees. Well, it's a clear sky. You can still watch it as it heads down range. That is the nice thing about doing these launches after dark. You really can see it as it goes farther and farther away. And you never get tired of watching them, no matter how many you see. It's so true. We're coming up on first stage separation, which we will probably be able to see. And it separates from the second stage, and that is set to occur about two minutes into the flight. Right now we're at T plus one minute, 40 seconds. Everything still normally. Everything is nom nominal in the flight. T plus one minute, 50 seconds, and still clear. Everybody at the hotels is watching because they can, they can see. There you see the separation event. Oh, there it goes, yeah. So and basically clear. this is uh, that, that uh, animation was what happened with first and stage. And I have confirmation of first and second stage separation. And it's a good separation between the first and second stage.